On a cold and windy day, why not cut the rocks that I collected last weekend, with a little extra protection from that rock dust. This rock appears to be a double thunder egg, with a little bit of calcining poking through the rhyolite, and it's the only one that I recorded cutting because my hands were freezing. Let's see what it looks like. Those red orbs in the rhyolite were definitely a surprise, and even though there's an, a ton of chalcedony in there, I think the patterns in it are really interesting. This next nodule was the smallest one that I cut today, and there was just a little bit of chalcedony poking through, so I wasn't sure if there would be much on the inside. I was pleasantly surprised. There was even a little bit of a crystal cave in there. And while the pattern isn't much to write home about, I think it'll tumble up nicely. This nodule had a lot of chalcedony on the outside, and I wasn't sure if it ran all the way through on the inside. I decided to cut through the chalcedony, so at least each half would have a little bit. And it looks pretty interesting. The rhyolite almost has a brecciated look to it. And I like the patterns in the chalcedony. It's very organic looking. Okay, this one's not much to look at on the outside, but there's plenty of chalcedony on it, so I was hopeful that the inside would at least be interesting. And it is interesting. The rhyolite has some interesting patterns going on. Still, maybe not the prettiest rock, but I do think it will tumble well. Next up is one with both some light and dark chalcedony, as well as a decent sized crystal pocket. And I decided to cut right through that pocket, hoping that I'd get a little bit of a geode effect. And the crystal pocket is not quite as big as I'd hoped, but I think it'll still look really good with a face polish. I love that feathery effect in the chalcedony on this side. I'll be putting that through the tumbler soon. And finally is a nodule with a ton of chalcedony on the outside. You can see those flower-like formations that give chalcedony roses their name. I decided to cut right through the rhyolite and I was not disappointed. There's a great little vug in here with some of those botryoidal formations, a word I can never say right the first time. This side has some great depth to it, and I think it'll take a great face polish.